Yo, if you don't know, now you know it's your boy John and Joe. You see me rocking with my jellyfish Aurelia. That's his name. It's official name. It's a she. Her name is Aurelia. So we're gonna go against the commander in uh, the Aeonia Swamp. It's in Khaled. You know, you know how much everybody hates going to Khaled. But you know, sometimes you gotta just prove that we the best. So you gotta watch out for Scarlet Rot. Commander O'Neill's pretty intense. So I had avoided this fight for a lot, this fight for a good minute, but um, there was really no point in avoiding it anymore. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take out his summons. Yes, somehow they decided that him being a boss and having boss health wasn't enough. They get they allowed him to have his own summons. So his first five guys, you know they're. They're pretty solid, like they can do a lot of damage, but you really don't have to worry about them if you take them out. And as you can see, he's already taken out my summon. I don't really put too much effort into powering up my summons. I believe uh, I have Aurelia the Jellyfish at plus two. Oh, and the uh, the Rotten Zombie Dog, the Rotten Stray, you know, the Rotten Zombie Dog at plus two. And my strongest summon that I have is a. Uh, I have Lutel, the headless hunter, so the headless maid or whatever. But I can't use her because I'm a strength build, so I don't have the 104 or 103 magic points that you need in order to summon her. So if you have enough endurance and you have a strong enough shield, you can go through this fight pretty much just blocking like you try not to dodge especially when you put scarlet rod on you uh not a well-known fact that a lot of people don't know once you get scarlet rod on you if you roll then uh you'll make the effect worse and it'll be harder to get off sometimes even after you visit the site of grace then it won't it still won't leave immediately because of how far embedded it is in your clothes or in your armor I should say well yeah your your wardrobe your attire <laughs> and your armaments so anyway so yeah so if your endurance is high enough to where you can block some attacks and get your stamina back up which I have relatively high stamina it's about 25 maybe at the, at the time I was doing this fight then you know as you can see I can block him and then as I wait for his next attack I get enough stamina built up to where I can block his next attack but that doesn't help against his scarlet rock smoke attacks or any of those charge up attacks like the one I just dodged so for the most part you stay close to him as a strength build if you can block his attack so this is him doing another summon somehow they decided he should be allowed two summons but this summon it's a little more straightforward than what he starts with. He just summons two of these axe wielders. And, you know, they, they have more health and higher defense than the first. Oh, actually, three. I said it wrong. Yeah, and that's why I almost died here. That's literally what happened last time. <laughs> the first time I went, I got this far and realized that he had two summons. The first two attack you, and the third one is kind of off in the distance a little bit. So you focus on the summons because he kind of salts up to you so you don't have to worry about him. So at this point I pretty much got it won. So now that I understand that I can pretty much block everything he has and just get to his side or get behind him and attack twice, block again. Oh and uh, I realized in another fight against him that he is very susceptible to poison. I'm not a poison bill but I use the poison pots. Not the poison pots, but the pot of fetid poison. I don't know what that means, but they use the gold excrement and the mushrooms to craft. So when I threw four of those on him, it immediately gave him poison. And that made the fight against him. You know, that I don't, that was the first time that I got to a second summon because the poison did so much damage to him. As the fight went on, I could have just blocked and waited, but he caught me off guard with that second summon when his health got low. So the commander standard that he drops right here has a really cool ability basically it's a rallying call so you just uh... you boost up your attack and defense for yourself and your allies after you beat them this becomes a site of grace and that just really helps you out it's just really cool and um... 
Yeah, man. So that's me defeating Commander O'Neill. You know, if y'all like what y'all saw, like and subscribe. You know, I'm trying to put out as much content as possible, just in general. When I come across cool things, I save it. It's your boy, Jonah Joe. If you didn't know, now you know. We out.